Okay, so then now that we've combined all our layers into one, we notice here on the left that uh, the lowest elevation here in black is being represented as 1,278 meters, while the white is being represented as 1,437 meters. Um, we don't want meters, we want feet. So um, in order to change it from meters to feet, we can highlight this layer and then go to raster and um, raster calculator. Um, we're going to need to choose an output layer first. So let's save it as um, Carrington Island uh, feet. And we again can save it to our lab five data folder, click save. And we're going to click our first merge, double click our first merged layer, Hit space multiplied by 3.28084. So that's, that's the sort of equation that's going to change it from meters to feet. We click OK. And then we get another layer. Um, except this time, you'll notice that it's uh, 4,194 feet for the black and 4,717 feet for the white. So they're the same, except one is in meter meters and one's in feet. So we can make it so that's not visible to us. And now we just have this one layer um, that's now in feet. Next, we want to add um, contours to make it a topographic map rather than this sort of raw data image. So again, we'll go to raster and extraction and then click contour. Here, this is gonna be 10 feet between the contour lines. That's too close. Um, so we're going to change it to 40 feet and click run. Make sure the attribute name is elevation, E-L-E-V. So click run. Okay. Now close, and you can see that we have our uh, contours visible now, and that's a new layer as well. So there you have it, there's the contours. And then here's uh, our sort of base map. We now wanna customize our map and add some important details. So we're gonna go to layer styling down here in the bottom right. Here we see width. This is the width of the contours. I'm gonna click this off to the right, the data defined override. We're gonna click edit. Um, in this box here, we're gonna type out this code. It goes if, quote, elevation, percent sign is uh, 60, then equals zero comma zero point five, and then zero point two five, Close the parentheses. So what this is doing is uh, if if it's 60, every two contours, it's going to be a little bit thicker. Um, and the two contours in between are going to be thinner. So let's just click OK. Now you see that um, these two contours uh, are thin and then thick, thin, thick, um, thin, thick. Let's go ahead and turn this layer off so we just see the contours. Um, basically, that code just said 
every 120 feet, right? Because these are 40 foot contours. You said every 120 feet, make it a thicker line. Um, so this would be uh, 40, 80, 120, which is divisible by 60. So uh, puts in a thick line.